The chemical formula that I'm going to show you how to write is mercury 2 phosphide. Here's its chemical name. The very first thing we need to do is recognize that this is an ionic compound. The reason it's ionic is because it's made of a metal and a nonmetal. Very important to know this because ionic compounds have to follow the rule of zero charge. We need to know the charges of each of the compounds so we know how many come together. If you were to look at mercury on the periodic table, you wouldn't be able to see the charge because it's a transition metal, and transition metals can have various charges. But in the name, we have the Roman numerals that let us know what mercury's charge is. So mercury, Hg, has a charge here of positive 2. Now, phosphide is just the normal element phosphorus on the periodic table. It's not a polyatomic ion because it ends in ide, and it's not part of the list on our periodic table. Phosphorus typically has a charge of minus 3. It's these charges that help us determine how many we need of each of the substances in this chemical equation. I know that both of these will go into 6, and how many I need will tell me what I write for my chemical equation. So namely, mercury is going to be 3. So I put Hg with the subscripts of 3, because 3 mercuries will be positive 6. And phosphorus, I need 2 of them. So I'm going to put a subscript of 2. This is my finished chemical equation for mercury 2 phosphide.